I really like the art style. Oh, what's happening over here? Ah, okay. Oh, these are my options. That's so cool. <laughs> I like that one, right? Begin a bureaucratic afterlife. Let's go. Spawn has a welcome. What a uh, momentous day. I am honored to welcome you into our world. Spawn. Hang on. Spawn number one, six. I am fate. I am the keeper of world order. Straight to the point. Great. You are in my office. Here to work as a Grim Reaper. Oh, swell. Welcome to your new job as an overseer of Cosmopolis City Subdivision 4. The Sun County Wine Region. Okay. I know what you are thinking. And yes, your assignment is choosing humans who have to die pretty standard stuff pretty standard stuff <laughs> okay as it is your first day try to get to know the system and do not destroy the world yes <laughs> gallows humor you see right yes <clears throat> clear wait i have to kill people um, I'm not ready for this. Okay, whatever you say, boss. Will I get paid for this? Most certainly. <gasps> oh! The contract stipulates that every death gets a fair salary based on their performance accuracy. Performance accuracy. Hmm. Marking profiles correctly is the most important task. If you mark more or less than necessary, you will not get your fee at all oh that sucks errors in secondary tasks will reduce the total even if the primary task is <laughs> executed correctly okay remember the fate of the world lies in your hands humans march towards the great dying they always teeter on the precipice Creating endless chaos. Oh, for sure. We keep humans from falling off. We establish the equilibrium and keep the chaos in check. For that reason, your actions will have consequences. All right. Where do I work? I was born for this. <laughs> Why me? Whatever. Let's get this over with. Okay, let's go. I will show you your workplace right away. Follow me. One more thing. This will be your seven-day evaluation period. When the week is done, you will be assessed. Okay. One week to show us what you are made of, Reaper. Aha, let's go. Hello, Grim. Okay, so this is my desk, eh? What is this? A bar where we can do whatever. Sanyu Ferrar. This, this is an interesting one. Fax. Okay. I have a phone. <laughs> That's a phone. Good for procrastinating and scrolling through. Marker of death. 
Better pick it up and start making some files. Let's see. My instructions for the day. Uh, welcome Grim. Here are the files on humans who are in life-threatening situations within your domain. I am granting you time to settle in, so no difficult rules and requests as of today. Quota of the day. One human has to die. Send me the files by fax after you have made your decision. Good luck on the first day. Wait. Okay, so let's see. She is 55. She's a shopkeeper. Frustrated with the bland condiment selection of the local, gro local grocery stores. Sun Yu opened a shop to sell speciality cooking ingredients. Now people can cook dishes originating from all around the globe. Um, okay. She's still young and she has a shop and she is, you know, crucial. Let's say she lives. Oh, do I need my pen? Okay. Hello. Yes. Okay, what do I do with it then? Do I fax it? You still have unmarked profiles. Okay, so how do I get rid of this? Ah, okay. Kenyi Sakai. He's 66. He's retired. He's made a fortune with the protein bar factory, allowing them to retire early. They decided to use their hard-earned fortune on helping the community, supplying and improvise regions with free potato plants and helping them become self-sufficient. Oh my goodness. Now, <laughs> so, um, I only have these two, right? So one of them has to die and I've already chosen. Okay, so I guess he has to die. <laughs> Oh goodness, okay. Put down the pen. Can I fax? Do you want to confirm your choices? Oh, um. Well, hell yeah, let's do it. The Grim Office. What's happening here? Uh, these two. Um. What ho, customer! Welcome to Quartermatter Mortimer's Plunder Emporium! Plunder Emporium? I am Mortimer. The Mortimer. The one you may have heard of. The famous, nay, infamous <laughs> Quartermaster! Okay. Never heard of you before. What makes you infamous? The Mortimer. The Mortimer. An honor to meet such a legend. You just. <laughs> I once scoured many sea and land, alleviating merchantmen from the burden of excess wealth. Uh, I, I visiting me ultimate dream, the Emporium. Browse okay. at your will. Browse at your will. Okay, let's. Ooh, wow. I haven't been paid yet, so I can't buy anything. Cactus. The most brutal of plants. Uh, the resonator. Wait. Grim cape. So that's it, right? Okay. Let's get back into the elevator. Um, what is this? Oh, same place. How do you go up again? Oh! Oh, is this the bar? How the hell? This is a very tricky elevator. Okay, seems like I can't go in there yet. Is this my office? This and this is my room. Can I? Uh, <laughs> how the hell do you aim with this bloody elevator?
Whoops. Oh, the new death spawn. Welcome. How was your first day? Okay, I guess I'm not bad at this and all. Good, good. I understand it may take time to get acclimated. Everyone goes through that phase. Okay. Remember, lives are on the line. I see exactly one person perished today. As task. Did you figure out the best choice? Indeed, I am glad you are paying attention. In the future, I may require you to make more difficult choices. Such is the unfortunate, indisputable, incontrovertible, ironclad law of cosmos. Question. Keep your eye on the letter for future guidelines, and keep up the good work. A new day awaits. Off you go now. Uh... Okay, so... Sure, let's sleep. Wow, that was fast. Okay. Is this my job? Yes. Instructions. Morning. Hope you found your accommodations adequate. Let's answer the phone. Tax evasion corners local government, possi possibly leading to cuts in infrastructure. Okay. Um, here are the rules of the day. Follow them and you will be okay. I'm handing you another simple task. Quote of the day. One human with an engineering or industrial background has to die. Okay. Let's see who these people are. Okay. Agnes. She's 33. She's a tax collector. Um, Agnes does a thankless job of collecting tax from businesses and individuals on behalf of the local government. They get yelled at every day, but ensure everyone could enjoy public services like roads and street light lighting. <laughs> um, this guy is a contractor and he's a stonecutter. What was my... Safisu is 44. He constructs buildings, not much else to it. They try their best to manage balance between the demands of the clients and the experimental ideas of the architects. In their spare time, they like carving small sculptures. That's cute. Wow, this guy is 26. He's a stone cutter. Um, Gerard cuts and carves stone blocks out of stone. <laughs> at the local quarry. That's basically it. That's very little else going on in their lives. Their dream is to visit some of the highest mountains in the world and maybe cut a tiny chunk chuck of stone out of those two. I need someone with an engineering or industrial background. Um... I'm going to say no for her. So, this guy is so young and he still has dreams. No! I'm stupid. Why did I say... How how does that 
do you want to confirm these choices? No, I want to change this one, but I can't. So what's the point? Oh, uh, well. So now I have to go get berated by my boss. This should not be a thing. Ah, uh, bad, really bad. It saddens me to hear that. Hmm. I see many deaths in your region today. Too many. Ah, uh, ah, uh, I'm feeling sick. Can I leave out? Yeah. Ah. Uh... Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Pay attention. The task said one human. I can't help it that the game I chose for them to love. Unfortunately, such errors mean I must dock your pay for the day. Oh my gosh. Spring. Great indeed. We could use more spawns with your attitude. I appreciate the enthusiasm generally but do follow the rules good night i tried oh I'm such a cute kitty but seems like <laughs> okay let's go sleep uh let's see what day your job <laughs> The Daily Moon. Is the forest haunted by witches? Creepy little wooden statues found all across the nearby woods. Okay. Morning Grim. A new day dawns with slightly fewer people alive than required. <laughs> I know being a reaper may grow monotonous, but you ought not take it out on the humans. Please follow the rules and choose the appropriate member number of profiles before you fax them to me two humans have to die okay so psychologist <clears throat> you have to die dude <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. Kermit has a warm kind-hearted personality and does their best to help troubled youth and marginalized people they are a community activist and run a private practice for cognitive behavioral therapy when they aren't dealing with their grandkids. That's that's really cool. Um, Columbus 47, he is a airplane pilot. He is a distinguished war veteran these days, working as a well-regarded passenger airplane pilot. They're happily married and have five children. As a hobby, Columba is extremely interested in the history of religious buildings. Um, Kathy is 33. She's a nurse. Born to migrant parents, Kathy was expected to go far, but never became a doctor. They until long hours at the local hospital and love their job while not being gentle with needles around all patients who accidentally touch her, their butt <laughs> when not working Kathy lives in a tiny apartment doing laundry sleeping and eating takeout okay Peyton is 27 he is unemployed and a copywriter He's a trained writer but has always struggled to find work. When they aren't trying to find work, they enjoy writing rap lyrics <laughs> about street life. Okay, Lucian um, is a vampire. He is 64. He's a professor. Lucian has been teaching undergrads for nearly 30 years now. They are well known for their welcoming demeanor, yet whispers travel travel about shady and inappropriate deeds with students oh my gosh 
Um, I'm going to close these so that I don't accidentally. Okay, Professor has to die, right? Okay, he has to die. This guy has to live. Yeah. Okay. Then Kathy is dying. Sorry, ma'am. Okay, dude, you can live. And uh, you can live. Great. I didn't make any mistakes this time. Okay, so two humans have to die. What is this? Oh, is that my money? What is that noise? <laughs> okay, let's just fax it. Do you want to confirm your choices? Yes, let's go. Um, let's go see my boss. Grim, my latest spawn. Three days you have been with us. How do you feel? Awesome, balancing the wall, getting things done. Fine, more or less. It's still a bit confusing. I feel hungry all the time. How is that even possible? Probably some of the psychic residue left over from the creation. Making a death is not simplistic alchemy. Now, let me take a look at the files you sent me today. Right. Everything looks to be in order. You have followed the rules and marked the correct amount of profiles. Do they care um, about who you choose and if it might be the right or the wrong person? Or the, do, I, do they just care about the quota? There really is not much else to say. You may leave. See you tomorrow. Okay. I got 300 bucks. Okay. Let's go see... Um, Prepare for a perilous adventure on the ocean of Oh my gosh, the stuff is different. Ah. Uh. Okay, I still need money. What is happening? Let's go see, um... Oh, apparently I can't go in there yet. So I guess let's go sleep. Yo, another day. Do your job. All survived in the plane crash due to a skillful efforts of pilot. Is this the stuff? I mean, I chose the pilot yesterday to survive. Is is the news the day after directly correlating to the events that happened the previous day and who died and who didn't die? Do you think? Um, debut collection by Young Poet. Released to have reviews and widespread acclaim. I think so, because I also let the poet and the jobless guy live. Oh, that's so cool. Local poet breaks through a tough scene. Um, nurse breaks neck. <laughs> oh, it is. After slipping on a bed pan, um, left lying in front of the stairwell. I know, I know, I shouldn't laugh. Oh, gosh. Um... Editorial by Youth Psychologist Inspires Anti-Bullying Movement. This is so cool. Where's the old guy? He's not here. Okay. Well, that's cool. Um, three humans have to die. Let's see. Who's the first one? He's a 19-year-old keyboardist. 
Um, she. Ali is a virtuoso. They are also not exactly what people would call particularly talented. However, they work hard and practice a lot. The band has started doing all right, and Ali has been able to quit their service, take the job to become a full time keyboardist. The band has a fast growing fan base. It sounds cool. Three humans. Have you looked outside today? It rains. It has been raining for hours. Appropriate to accompany the despons despondence within me. Well, here are some rules for you. Let's see what Ashley is. So she's a 53 year old con train conductor. Choo choo! All aboard the best train ever. Whichever train Ashley is conducting, they constantly broadcast uplifting messages and jokes, brightening the passengers' days. Okay, these two are good, right? <clears throat> I can't pronounce this person's name, but he's also a professor. He's a renowned professor of mathematics who enjoys challenging their students with nice and so unsolvable questions. Equations. It's the best way to force them into being more inventive and creative, they say. Lately, they've started tutoring a gifted janitor with a troubled past. Okay. Damn it. These are all good people. Thornton, 32, is a bodyguard. Thornton loves bodies. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> that's why they, that's why they, what? That's why they became a bodyguard. Oh, okay, okay. They want nothing else in life but to protect bodies from harm. Frankly, it's a pretty honorable vocation. The recently, they, they recently became a god for a very famous a celebrity. When not at work, Thornton enjoys a lot of exercising. Um, a factory worker. Working in a factory is very monotonous. You almost, be you almost became a machine yourself. At least that's how Luther feels most days. They go through a set of predetermined motions, one after the other. However, this has also given them ample time to compose poetry. Grim, I am watching. You should mark this profile to live. What? Is this a joke? Well, I guess... Um... I don't um, have much of a say in that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I I'm going to mark this one to die. And uh, troubled janitor. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> Love die. So I need to choose two of these to die. I am I'm going to choose this one to die. I'm not sure why. I just think it's random and one of these, right? Okay, let's see. She's a train conductor. And he is I'm going to put this one to live and this one to die. And then I'm going to fax it. I don't want to piss off fate. Grim, <sighs> there you are. Let us be quick. All the profiles are here, just as requested. Excellent work. You even adhered to my little test note. I commend you for exhibiting vigilance. I am beginning to sense a tinge of pride growing within me. I did not expect you to turn out such a good and dedicated reaper. 
If you keep this up, you will get far. You may be even promoted to a middle management position. Imagine, Imagine the possibilities. possibilities. Delightful view. <laughs> anyway, I am quite busy tonight, so you can go. Until tomorrow, Grim. Okay. I should get more pay. What is what what is this? And who is this guy? Can I go to the party? Not yet. Okay, let's just go sleep. Yay! Okay. Can I go to the party now? Nope, they're cleaning. Okay. What's happening here? The rules. Okay. Good. Let's see what happened. I made the right choices. Charming, a real life tale of a maths prof professor helping a young math genius to be turned into a form oh my goodness bodyguard saves life of an actor sandy fresco gets hit by a falling cement block by the falling cement blocks um grand piano falls on a young musician as they were walking down the street industrial laborer publishes first collection of poems titled the Payan and the workers impact Critics impressed. Dormant plague, bacteria discovered in a permafrost waiting to be released. Reports just coming in. It seems a hostage situation may be taking place at the courthouse. Hmm. I don't know how those two tie into what happened yesterday. Good. Um, you are paying attention after all. We cannot allow workers to doze off or become complacent. These mistakes may sneak into the workplace. The workflow pipeline. Quota for today. Two humans have to die. Um, spare any humans with a science background. Mercenary. Bruno is a mercenary, always ready to work for the highest bidder. They are currently stationed in Ferdin uh, with a government contract providing security services. They act tough and gung-ho to cover up the fact that they haven't been trained to pro properly act in a combat zone. My gosh, dude. I'm on the fence with this one. Archaeologist. Um, how do you pronounce this? A gyro is currently organizing an excavation in the polar regions, um, digging up some permafrost in the hopes of finding artifacts from the, the fabled age of the colossal hamsters. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well, um, I read something about permafrost. Um, you, know, you know, the guy wants me to save people that has a science background. This guy obviously has a science background, but, you know... I don't know. We'll wait. We'll see. Um, Jonas, he's a judge. Jonas leads an enviable life of moral integrity. They have it figured out. In their prime, they enjoy the fruits of their well-established position. When not engaged in upholding the law, they dabble in a vineyard which started as a elaborate joke relating to the name. 
I have no idea who this guy is. Um, this guy, I think this guy goes to the hostage situation. And this guy might um, solve... Um, the plague thing? Oh gosh. <coughs> Prison warden. Misal. Misal. Um, has been working at prisons for so long that they are, in their eyes, nobody is innocent. People are either criminals or victims, soon to become criminals. Lately, they've started promoting the use of 24-7 um, panopticon surveillance systems with enormous privacy violations. Okay, this guy is definitely dying. Researcher Amanita has dedicated their life to researching the end of days. When not working, they take their pile of their pile of dogs for a walk or snobbishly drive around in their vintage car. Even though the battery is chronically empty, otherwise there are no personality or political views whatsoever. Gosh, she has to live, doesn't she? Because she has. Um, okay. Another archaeologist. Um, Loic and the team made a discovery of their career as they came upon an ancient sealed tomb in the local desert. The most intriguing item found from one of the tombs was an ancient wheel of cheese. <laughs> <laughs> which looks looked surprisingly appetizing okay so this guy has to live because um he is sciency this guy um has to live uh-huh because he is sciency um how many has to die two humans Okay, so she's a researcher, so even though she's snobbish, she has to love. <sighs> okay, so unfortunately for these two, they have to die. And this guy. Only two has to die. Oh my gosh, I want to do <coughs> Damn it. Oh well, now, now the idiot needs to live. Because I can only kill two people. <laughs> no, come on. Hi. What a day, Krim. What a day. Let us go over your conduct first. My conduct? Good. I see the correct amount of profiles. Today seems to be in order. Anyway, Krim, five days you have been with us. How does it feel to make the difficult choices? I didn't like it at first, but I've grown to enjoy it. Meh, a job just like any other. Honestly, I feel like I'm not killing enough people. <laughs> I still feel awful about every choice. Every moment is a living hell. I hate this job. Um, well, I actually, I hate making the choices. So which option is that? Let's say that. Holding off the indifferent. But think of the humans. Do you think our office is the appropriate way to deal with them? Absolutely. I'm not sure. Not really. Is there another way? Um, I guess. Hmm. You 
your certainty soothes me. Ours is the tradition, and those should not ever change. Well, that is the meaning of a tradition, yes? Yes. This control over all the lives, unbeknownst to the humans, do you not consider it unethical to make the choices you make? But you hand out the rules and make me do the choices. Can't worry too much if it is what it has to be done. I'm not happy about the situation, no. Unethical. I don't think... It gladdens me to hear you do not bother yourself with unnecessary concern. Okay. The office is perennial and venerated. Eons we have spent designing the appropriate methods and strategy. We know what we are doing. Oh, I do apologize for taking up so much of your time. Before you go, are there any questions you would like to ask me? Hmm. Why haven't I seen any underage profiles? What's the basis of the profiles? Is there a points system? Why do all the pro profiles refer to people as they? Oh, <clears throat> not at all. Not at all. Hmm. Don't they all influence the world in many ways? The humans can't actually affect anything. You don't sound too sure about that. Mm, I am, quite so. Is it predetermined? What about free will? Humans have some free will, sure. They can make a variety of choices. Yet what matters is that they cannot escape the inevitable. The life-threatening situations that bring them onto your desk, the result of their own deeds and decisions. Then there are some highly complex calculations, factors and aspects that influence the situation. But that is just a bit over your pay grade, so do not worry about it. Oh, excuse me. Anything else? Um, why haven't I seen... Okay. Ah, the children. They are a special case for a different set of departments to deal with. You will not find any yourself. Okay, cool. Are there many offices or departments? Which, no. Anything else? What about animals? Did I not get a department? <laughs> An astute observation. You see, Grim. Uh huh. Our office does not operate on information about biological backgrounds or genetic composition. Minimal. Okay, cool. Everyone you assess is simply human, after all. Excluding any monumental error in normal procedure. The bottom line is that the humans end up on your desk and that you must follow the rules. Anything else? Right. It has been enlightening. I bid you a good night. See you tomorrow. Night night. I understand now why I can't go to the bar. Um let me see what's for sale. Seen such deals before? Tis ye who plunders me. Okay, so I don't want any of this. Okay, I can only go into the bar if I actually take my, um, what do you call it? This thing. Let's see. Let's see what happened. Archaeologic Archaeological. <laughs> Uh, 
excavation of the permafrost releases plague, which is spreading rapidly. Local archaeologist claims eating 3,000-year-old cheese gave them a massive diarrhea, <laughs> but what's worth it? Research shows a slim chance of survival for a small number of the population. Activists and some politicians protest against suggestions to introduce intensive surveillance grids calling these immoral and highly unconstitutional. Yes, yes, I know that was a mistake. Mercenary squad crashes helicopter into a mountainside. Three confirmed dead. Holy cow. Respected judge gunned down during a hostage crisis at the local courthouse. Cheese. We seem to be on a precipice of dark times. I may have warned you that this job can have some harsh moments. Today is that day. A total of six humans have to die. At least two humans aged six or older have to die. Any humans with an economy, economy related profession have to die. What's happening with this money? Can I not drop or just. <laughs> okay, first guy, Gideon um, is a venture capitalist and he's 43. Let's find the ones over 60. This one. And this one. And this one. So two of these definitely has to die, right? Jean Baptiste is a retired carpenter and a veter veteran of long ago military conflict with the Marisola Peninsula. Peninsula. <laughs> For years they have had to deal with bouts of PTSD which they've managed to alleviate in their twilight years by painting and composing a melaconic folk song. The run is a successful investment firm on this side. Um, retired novelist. For 40 years, they wrote charming, fantastical novels for youth and adults alike. Up until their health began to deteriorate, they still try to write every day, but the pro process keeps getting more difficult. They also made subsequent donations to many health research trusts. I don't know. Oren. Is a branch manager at Master Bank, currently working on analyzing the positives and negatives of financial, of financing the Mount Massive project. They're a fan of trekking on difficult terrain, football, and mega engineering. They dream of hang, having a building named after them. I'm thinking of these two to die. Over the age of 60. I'm on the fence with this guy. So four more people. Uh, any humans with an economy related profession has to die. Oh my gosh. None of the above. Venture capitalist. Has a great success with investing into the technology sector, especially during the wave of startups. They seem to have a sense of picking out firms with highly growth potential. Lately, they've looked into the gaming industry, trying to find anything that catches the eye. That's economy, isn't it? 
Naira is a loyal member of the group who are devoted to a forest spirit, <laughs> believing both the spirit and the tree are from the future. As the mighty stout oak seems to be a lot older than the rest of the forest, Naira enjoys nature but isn't that keen on the ritual branch, branch whipping, which seems to be important to their leader. Good gosh. Okay. He's a banker. Unfortunately, it doesn't even help that I read his stuff. He has to die. Um... I'm not sure why. So one, two, three, four. I need two more. Repairing, bus repairing bicycles is Porter's life. They own a bicycle shop, designed custom bicycles, and pumping up old rides. Experimental brake modifications and neon-like installations are Porter's speciality. Um, unemployed. Hyth lived in a small village for a long time. After the death of their trusty dog, they moved to the big city to pursue an app scene. So far, they have made a ton of useless mobile apps, but perhaps app number 98 will finally be successful. Okay. <clears throat> you are going to live... Okay. I don't care much for this. <laughs> Not this doesn't do any important stuff. He doesn't do any important stuff. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so six humans have to die. Okay. You can live. And you can Okay. Unfortunately, you have to die. Yes, I know. Oops. Stop it! I'm busy! I didn't touch the fax machine. Can I... can I pick this thing up? Okay, I'm good to go. Uh huh. Gus is dead. Hello there. I'm Sari, and I welcome you to Cerberus's Den. Finest drinking establishment this side of the void. Sure as heck, haven't seen you before. You must be brand new. Fucking cool outfit. Liking existence thus far. Feels pretty good to be alive, in a sense. It sucks. I kind of hate it here. Lots of tedious paperwork. Gotta look on the brighter side of undeath, eh? I'm sure you never thought this was how you'll end up. Sometimes these are the cards we are dealt. Okay, newbie, before we continue, I think this little game I play with every fresh faced patron. Real simple. All you gotta do is answer a series of questions and I'll craft a personalized drink inspired by what you said. It's like a quiz. Let's go. I'll describe some sort of an odd situation and you answer how you react. I usually do four questions and nothing else to it. Okay, let's go. 
for question number one. You are given the chance to level up one attribute of your character. Which aspect would you increase? Constitution. Calligraphy. Typestem. Grimismo. <laughs> As scalingens, oh my gosh, let's say it. Before you lies a table teeming with plants. You have to eat one of the plants, your very life depends on it. What kind of plant would you prefer to eat? Let's see, um, corpse flower, apple, cactus, mushrooms, all of them, a rose, maybe a light too. Let's go. Okay. Has been struck with what can only be described as a zombie apocalypse. You're stuck at home with little supplies and no weaponry to defend yourself with. What is your strategy? Unlock Soul Survivor mode. Find weapon skill until I'm the last one alive. Just get turned into a zombie. It's the safest and easiest way to get by. Blah. Zombies and apocalypse scenarios are so played out. Uh, yeah, I think. thinks he slew the dragon while in actuality you did when asked what will you do why should anyone else get my goal of glory if i just rid myself of the friend there will be no <laughs> questions surely the reward can be shared by all Appropriate concoction in mind. Start off with a nice mixture of four centiliters of gin, one centiliter of elderflower liqueur, one centiliter of sugar syrup, two deciliters of plum sugar. Crush in some lime juice concentrate, add several slices of well smashed cucumber and sweeten fast. I'm pleased with the result. I have no idea what to think of this. I'm not sure this is correct. Boro. Oh my gosh. The drink smooth waves are rolling into the coast, then receding gradually. A constant rhythm of symmetrical alteration grinding off the edges. The taste recalls a harmonious interplay of physical forces, soothing a turbulent soul. Until all that's left is a polished plane of alabaster. It's almost a death-changing experience. Okay, it's fairly decent. Reasonably yummy. I guess I like it. Could have been worse. Heck, an understatement of the century! Now what else can I get you? Your tip jar is pretty neat. I'd like a drink. Who else works in the office? I'll be going now. Continue. How do I get out? Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, I am going to go to bed. Where is my bed? I can't sleep. Oh, I have to talk to my boss. <laughs> New recruits often falter during dark time. Yet you seem to have performed adequately. How do you feel after such a day? I was built for dark times. It was a lot to do, but I worked it all out. Bad. I did what I had to. Doesn't mean I like it. Excellent. With this attitude, you will become a most industrious reaper. Let us hope these days do not continue. Any idea what happened? Don't you know what happened? You're in charge, after all. Perhaps an economic, economic crash, corruption, bad management. Beats me a day like any other. Don't really care, death is death. I know it was bad, 
That's what matters. Interesting. An insightful streak may yet rattle inside that skull of yours. Hmm? Hmm? Off you go now, Grim. Good night. Good night. There we go. 300 bucks. I am going to uh, go to bed in the day and I'm going to stop the first video here. Thank you all for joining. I think this could be a really fun game. Um, I think the more you get into the game, the more consequences there will be to actions and to the choices that you make. And I am really excited to see where it all goes. Thank you all for tuning in. I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.